course, if you play the other starter, you can scale up even more. But uh, Phoenix goes for the kill. And uh, that's all we need to know. Hey yo, how's it going everyone? And to be here today with another video. Today we're gonna be doing another deck profile on a clan that got new support from set 18, Narukami with the new archetype, Brawlers. So if you have been following this channel, you will know that Brawler is one of the uh, archetypes that I was really looking forward to playing. Um, and I'm really excited to showcase uh, this deck to you. Before we start, another thing you should notice if you have, uh, have seen my previous videos is that the whole layout it's all so cool and the uh, brawlers are really cool but you know who else is really cool mighty action joker so uh, go 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 check him out he did a video on, um, on, on basically refining my stream layout basically just trashing my trash one and then you know making it look good so go check out that video if you're interested um, go check out all his videos because it's all vanguard related and if you're watching this video you should be watching his videos too and um you know say hi he's a really cool guy you know didn't expect him to do this but um he just emailed me and um the rest is history and, and now you guys have have something nice to look at rather than just uh just a really bland and um bad layout you're welcome. So I guess with all that said, and uh, I'm sure you subscribed to him already, let's go uh, get started with the deck profile. So again, if you've seen my pack opening, you will know that I pulled it terribly. And when I mean terribly, I mean even with the 50 packs equals one triple rare pack, I had to craft a lot of triple rares and subsequently a lot of double rares. So. I do have my limitations. You all know that I'm free to play. I hope you know at this point, there's only so much I can do, but this is what I've come up with given my limitations and it's been working pretty well for me so far. Uh, of course, I will list out my ideal list after I explain my list um, and something that I think you should, you should try if you have all the cards. But hopefully what I can still show is A, I can still show how the deck is trying to function because the winning image is still very similar and B, you know, why this is not the ideal list and um, also C, for other players that have limitations themselves as well, what can you do with the cards you're, you have? Because I always say, especially if you're a free to play player, you just gotta play the hand you're dealt and um, not all the time you can have a perfect build. And um, I'm too used to showing perfect decks, like complete decks because that's my main goal for the channel. I don't do BS deck profiles, just explain away because I don't have X card or Y card. Um, but I think, you know, I think this is good enough and um, trying to see if uh, people will still watch. So starting off with the grade threes, this is the big bad, big bang knuckle dragon. It's the vermilion of brawlers. If you're in Legion, you can't two to get plus five and the following ability at Bows all your points front row in one attack really good and also when it attacks vanguard it's plus two it's over that 13k number very good um this card's great you know you have a designated starter that helps you blast the back row as well evidently i'm not playing it and i'm sure someone's judging me already but i'll explain myself so just hold, hold up bro hold up bro let's not throw hands yet let's do that when we uh when we get into the game brawler shotgun blow dragon this card is surprisingly Great. Um, when you Legion, Cameras 2, retire two of your opponent's reroots with priority at the back row. And then if you have more reroots than your opponent, it gets plus one crit until end of turn. Technically, the skill um, is still choosing units, so you will not be able to retire units with resist. Um, with that said, this could be a positive because generally speaking, you would have your starter with resist ability in the back row. And so when you Legion, Shotgun Blow could potentially snipe out front row intercepts. With that extra crit, you can swing for lethal and like so super super early, and uh, that's something you should be wary of when you're playing against brawlers. Is that you know a big bang is, is strong, but shotgun blow is is um could could deal a heavy blow to your defenses as well. Also gets the plus two, so that's solid. Um, we're playing one skybeam dragon. I only have two. I'm playing one. It's a pretty generic one. Legion retire regarding your opponent's front row. It's the it's the trial deck unit, it doesn't really do much, 
but a frontal retire is still a frontal retire and um, it does the job you know getting rid of an intercept means one extra shot to the face and um, it's, it's solid and we play four thundering bow Zahra um, Zahra is a Vanguard rigor circle 10k when this unit attacks the Vanguard counter charge one um, 10k body does really hurt because you generally do need to commit boosters in order to actually hit over the 11k which is the standard for grade threes these days um, but the counter charge is really helpful when you have you know big bang and you have cards like shotgun blow that kind of lasts two each time so that one counter charge could really really help for the grade twos we're playing four lise and three big man slash dragon they kind of do the same thing they scale up uh lise says when your opponent's rear guard is retired during your turn if you're in legion it gives plus three and um big man slash says when your brawler attack hits uh brawler vanguard attack hits it gets plus three so the difference is that Lisa is actually better late game because you're generally going to be already in Legion and whether that's through Shotgun Blow or through Big by Knuckle Dragon, um, you're retiring when you're in Legion, right? The negative is that it doesn't count the hit on the Vanguard. Um, the Big Man Slash Dragon counts the, the hit on the Vanguard, so, so obviously it works better with its Vanguard. Um, the negative is that, uh, well, your Vanguard needs to hit so other retires don't really count um and uh you know maybe I, I i believe when you hit an intercept so at least they still or like a front row rear at least they still proc so if you need to scale up and you've got a dead swing you can still uh, scale up least they you know you can't really do that with big man slash um and um yeah so big man slash i said least is better late game big man slash is better early game because you can basically treat this as like a 12k beater um, on turn two, uh, because your Vanguard can just just swing, and then this is a 12k with a booster can hit 17 if that's the starter, and um, it's it's fine. Um, this is something that Lise can't do because it requires your Vanguard to be in Legion. So small difference. They kind of do the same thing, which is why you play a lot of them because you need to scale. Um, and um, yeah, I think they're they're great cards. We're playing four Brawler Plasma Claw Dragon. Really important card as well. Vanguard Rearguard on hit, counter charge one, soul charge one. Um, if your Vanguard's a brawler, soul surprisingly important. I'll explain why. And the uh, counter charges again, we're using quite a bit of counter blast per skill for our Vanguards, per particularly. So the counter charge is nice. And we're playing two Sky Hall Dragon, it's the Legion mate. Um, if I didn't play the Sky V, maybe I'd play the when Legion counter blast one instead because it's cheaper. But uh, we don't really have space for it. Um, Caramelast 2 to retire front row is, is so, still solid. Again, getting rid of a front row intercepts means one extra shot to the face, which is really nice. Um, and it does the job, especially early game when, um, you, when you can't Legion yet. So especially if you're going first. Uh, for your grade ones, we're playing four old PGs. Try the new ones. I think it's a bit risky for this deck. Um, you have eight counter charge options, so it is it is fine. You can just keep reusing. If you have like three, if you're like if your opponent's damage denying you with your three, if you just land one of your counter charges, then you can kind of do stuff again. And um, generally speaking, you're trying to you know threaten with crit. You're kind of trying to do that kind of same strategy to them if they try to damage deny you. And um, I think the old ones just work better. It's just safer, um, and um, it's nice. Next, we play three. Tonfa Brawler Arc. Now this unit skill is Rear Circle when your opponent's Rear is retired during your when you're in Legion. Um, it gets plus three. So it's basically a grade one version of Lise. It becomes like a you know 10, 13, 16k booster uh, when you when you can do stuff. It scales up really nicely. Um, so it's 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 quite nice to have. And we play two Lightning of Hope Helna. It's the Mirubiru clone. Uh, Rear Circle when the attack this unit boosted hits. Discard a card from your hand to draw a card. Helps you filter out, it's solid, but you know, I, I know a lot of people like to shenanigan with Big Bang because you like you hit multiple things at once. I don't think it's that necessary actually. Um, and instead, I value for Rising Phoenix. Now, Rising Phoenix is like a classic, you've seen this in Eradicators, and now you're seeing this in Brawlers. I'm playing this at four because you have a surprising amount of Soul Charge. And um, you have a surprising amount of lack of draw. So, cards are scarce. Rising Phoenix gives you a body, and um, gives you a card, and gives you drop zone to Legion. So it's it's great. It does everything I kind of want. You if you if you just ride Plasma Claw early, if you just on hit Soul Charge one, then um, you know Rising Phoenix is something you can you can kind of do. Um, and one more thing is because you know. 
because of my starter pick, Rising Phoenix at 4 makes more sense as well. My starter pick is actually Wish Granting the Jin, not the new Brawler starter. Um, Rigor Circle, when you can put this into the soul to draw a card and then discard a card. It's like a, it's like a filter, and that's why we play less of the Helena as well, because I, I don't need to rely on Helena as much. Uh, being able to put this into the soul anytime I want means I can proc Rising Phoenix as early as turn 2, which I cannot with the Brawler starter. And um, what I'm telling you with this unit is that I'm prioritizing being able to Legion as soon as possible without committing as much because I'm not good at generate the deck isn't good at generating card advantage, like drawing cards. Um, filtering is nice. Uh, having this unit in the soul helps you plus more. Um, and the other starter is, is solid. It helps you kind of attack the back row as well. You retire the back row, you retire the front row. Um, but the negative is that it costs one counter mass. It requires kind of a specific legion in Big Bang. Big Bang. And um, honestly, the deck can go either way, Big Bang or Shotgun Blow. And I don't really want to choose a starter that's constrained to one specific legion. I want to be able to be flexible depending on the matchup and the gameplay. And uh, the Dijin. You know, it, it's not that value, but it does the job and it counterblasts less, uh, especially since I can't play the cheaper, you know, counterblast when we tear. Um, it, it does the job that it needs to do. So, I guess that's basically the list. Let me know down below what you think about it. Ideally, ideally, I play four Skybeat Dragon, I play one Zahra's. Um, Skybeat would be the heal. Um, I'd play maybe maybe i don't know i play maybe I, I i play maybe three rising phoenixes um three helnas or maybe yeah i'd play three 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 four and then i'd switch it to the other starter um simply because i just have more uh legion options i don't need to dig deep for like a good legion um and that's basically, and, and I just need to, I guess, I'm less tempted to rewrite. I don't know. But yeah, four Rising Phoenix works really good. Uh, the Dijin works really good. That's that's um, that's all I can tell you from my experience because this is the list I'm running. And um, I guess without further ado, let's go into a few games and see how this deck performs. So as of the recording of this video, it is August 10th. You're probably seeing this on August 11th or 12th, depending on your time zone. This is the last day of the tower event. So I hope you're doing well. Uh, hope you got all your overdress stuffs already. Hope you're contributing to your team. Uh, KOE, our team, we're at uh, top 10. So hopefully, hopefully this is true when you're watching this video. And, um, you know, enjoy the rewards because... Uh, you know, they're, they're quite nice. I think, uh, you know, at least five, seven, ten packs or something, something like that. So let's uh, get started with our hand. We're going to be playing against Narukami, so maybe it's a mirror match. PG is nice, especially against Shotgun Blow. Um, everything else is, is fine. Big Bang Knuckle, it's fine, I guess. One of the negatives of this build is that we don't really have a good, we don't have a good grade three first turn like it's a vanilla turn um, so that's something to consider when you're playing this deck um, I know some people are experimenting with like playing vermilion as the 13th unit or like the backup ride or whatever but uh, you know it uh, vermilion doesn't really work with your skill units because they, they require brawler and in legion and whatnot so I'm not a big fan of it but it is something that you can definitely test out and uh, let me know how it goes so we're actually gonna be playing against overdress Speak of the overdress. Um, Plasma Claw is fine. Lise is fine. Let's try Lise. And I'm just gonna call. Can I call one out? I guess I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. It's gonna play it slow and steady. Alright, because again, like, Narukami doesn't really generate a lot of card advantage. It's something that's been under Thorn for quite a while now. So hopefully we see a Phoenix soon. Um, something that we can kind of see is that they probably only play one Rayu, which is which which I can respect. It's something that you should probably do. And that SP Farina looks really spicy. All right, draw trigger is really nice, but we're behind. We did get the Rising Phoenix though. 
Really great. Another PG is solid. All right, let's go into Big Bang. Knuckle Dragon. All right, so is there any? Mm, we can still last two to draw a card. Ooh, shotgun. Okay, okay. I can toss this inside, draw one, ditch one. That's fine as well. Is there a need though? Maybe shotgun next turn is solid. So maybe let's save it. Um, let's save it for later. Instead, let's just uh, let's just play it, play it chill. All right, draw trigger is very nice. Drawing into the heal, not very good, but the heal is very nice. I like that one. Good stuff, good stuff. And obviously we're gonna hit a Vermilion. I play Vermilion in my overdress build as well. Let me know if you wanna see my uh, overdress build. Obviously, if you've tried the deck, you will know that it's not very competitive, but it is, um, it's very fun to see, you know, cards from 3,000 years ago, or, you know, I'd say based on the, the time of the game, like 10, 10 ish years ago, no five ish years ago, um, interact with uh, with some overrest stuff. So, so generally the idea is that um, Narukami I think is 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 the best or has the best synergy. Your uh, your units want to attack when attack Vanguard, Marina when you attack Vanguard, blah blah blah, and the Desert Gunner lets you bypass the uh, the Grade Two intercepts kind of um, no shit right so. Opponent hits the heal, gets the power to the Jin. Uh, that's gonna let them hit through. All right. So are we going to re Legion or are we just gonna smash face? Honestly, we can just smash face. Honestly, we can we can just smash. Yeah, I think I can I think we can just smash. But the question is, can we scale up enough? So we're gonna re attack three. We're just gonna hit three times, it's plus nine, 18, 23. This is 14 plus, plus nine, 14 plus nine, 23. I guess if we see a trigger, that's fine. I guess so. I guess, I guess so. I guess so. All right, so let's do this. Um, considering stepping on top of this. Yep, I will. And I don't wanna use the gin, like the starter, because I kind of need the, I kind of need the boost to actually hit numbers, so. And I think we have a good hand anyways, we have two PGs, I don't think we really need to filter for much. I think we're doing fine. Alright, let's swing. Alright, let's see a trigger here. No trigger. All right, scales up. So this is 20. Oh, bad math. I thought this was 20 something. And this is 23. So again, like I mentioned this uh, very early on, um, the the decks, like the Big Bang's attack pattern is interesting. It's weird because your Vanguard's the beefiest one when you start the battle phase. Um, but with cards like Lise, with cards like Big Bang Slash, with cards like the, the Grade 1, you have a lot of methods to actually scale up your rigor columns and take advantage of um, the lack of intercepts. And uh, it's something that you need to kind of get used to because, I mean, especially for your grade one slot, you only have like, you, know, you have a really tight slot. Um, you can only play at most four base scaling units. And honestly, again, the deck doesn't really have a lot of drawing options. So you might not even see them re really often. Uh, so you really have to pick and choose and uh, know your matchups and, and see which when I go shotgun, when I go big blang, big blang, big bang, um, and, and how you set up your, your columns and your boosters. So yeah, Lise doesn't get the power when, um, it only gets the power when the opponent's rear guard is retired. So, so that's something to consider again, and um, I guess the positive with Big Bang Slash is that it just has better synergy with its fellow Big Bang. Um, when it when when you just hit, it's it's fine. So, and uh, another thing is that Brawlers is one of those decks where you don't really need to really legion that much. Like, of course, if you have triggers you want to return, you can, or like you you want to do your skill on, on on legion skills. But just using Big Bang itself, just smashing again, it's fine. It works good. 
it works fine. So I guess I'm just gonna use the uh, the Dijin. See what we can draw into, and I guess I'm just gonna dunk the shotgun blow because I'm gonna counter mass two for for this skill. So again, left side. The right side's gonna hit what? It's gonna at least hit two. It's because it's gonna call for one PG. Um, so it's gonna be plus six, so fifteen. Uh, left side is gonna be fifteen as well, so it's twenty. Doesn't really make a big difference. Twenty at uh, fourteen or uh, for twenty, I guess. So fifteen, I guess. These say it's slightly better, but to to hit over the heel, they haven't shown a heel yet, so I guess I guess this is slightly better. So here, this one, if we see a trigger, and um, they see a heal right with my rear end attack, then then you know it, it would work out better. But hopefully, we don't see the six damage heal. There's four and twenty one. All right, solid, solid, very nice. So unfortunately, our opponent didn't choose to go into their um, their overdress thing. But. Cool. So that's uh, that's game one. Alright, extra points for being higher ranked than myself. Thank you so much. Hopefully we play another higher ranking player as well. So yeah, so this win streak, it's it's all from brawlers. I've been playing this for for the um for, for, for the last I don't know day or two. Um just playing around with a lot of stuff, you know, of course at first I just played with the uh, the, the natural brawler starter. But I just noticed that it wasn't that flexible. I think the, the, the actual starter is just better if you just prefer going into Big Bang no matter what. Um, but I, I do like Shotgun Blow. I think it's great. You know, Something that I think about is if I go Shotgun Blow first, push to five and then Big Bang, then um, I just smash through the intercepts and I essentially get five, like three swings to the face like that and I ignore two intercepts, right? So that's something that uh, you can consider. You know, the other way around works well as well. You know, Shotgun Blow after to kind of like damage deny and turn for PG is fine as well. Just uh, figure out ah, the, the, the heals that uh, that cut me off. But yeah, figure out what works best for you. Um, generally speaking though, I don't see the, the TD Legion being that good. I guess the good thing is that it doesn't cost Karim last, so. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. So we're gonna be playing against a uh, Liberator, so Wingo got nerfed, so. Amen to that, thank god. Cause count last one now, but uh, still very good, you know, obviously you're still searching for a body, a combo piece, um, that lets you plus, lets you retire, it's just insane. So here, maybe if I was a riskier player, I'd put a scrad on, on here, and then uh, hopefully top call something um, onto the 7k booster column, and uh, if I don't see any triggers, then they could have dealt 3 damage. High roll though, high roll though. So I'm gonna ride Plasma Claw. I'm gonna use the Digit. Ah, another heal. Oh, so good at this game. Alright, Rising Phoenix rises from the ashes, helps me so much to draw a card. Alright, this is cool, this is cool. When I hit, I get to plus three. Okay, let me let me see what I can do. If I hit, I get plus three. So it doesn't really mm, doesn't really do much for us here. I guess something we can do is bank on a trigger. Don't really want to call him another Rising Phoenix. I guess mm, yeah, because next turn I can still last two and draw a card. All right, let's do this. So this way I hit. Uh, I mean, it doesn't scale up because I'm not on Legion, but if, if I saw a trigger, it could have worked. Yeah. Phoenix goes pew. Alright, so this game we drew into three heals. Uh, not very fortunate. We could have healed all three times. I guess, I guess not because I started with two on my first turn, but there you go. Trumpeter doing Trumpeter things. Three plus one, very nice. And then pushing us to four, I would attack the Vanguard first because heal and, and this situation. And I guess it hits 19, so they're prioritizing the, the push over the uh, the potential damage swing. 
guess so. So we we damage a draw into PG, but but we ended up with a PG in the damage zone, which is not that nice. But um, this is the perfect time to go big man and just smack all that front row. So cool, cool, cool. We're gonna soul blast two, draw a card. Ooh, shotgun. Not nice, not nice. I was supposed to step on top of that Dakra, honestly, honestly. Return the Rising Phoenixes, because when you're legioning, you basically have two. So I'm zero soul right now, when I legion, I have two vanguards. When I rewrite stuff like shotgun blow, then I immediately have two soul. And um, I could do another soul blast to draw one. So hopefully we see a heal. There you go. There we go. There we go. So this gets what? I retire two. So this gets plus six, 13, 23. This is 15, 20. So 20 hits 16 and then 23 hits 21. There we go. Very smooth. Very smooth. I guess uh, this is what we get for uh, drawing to three heals. All right, it's Alfred in the fridge. Brick ride gets the BBL. It's gonna do that. Not guarantee the extra extra BBL crit. Interesting. I mean, they they put the Ganslaw back, but they kind of have to call the Ganslaw back. Right? I don't I don't really understand the play, but sure, whatever you say, bro. Maybe maybe they um, they couldn't figure out the difference between Ganslot and Ganslot Zenith. So gets the extra crit because top deck. Top deck still very powerful. Gets the Barkle plus one. Thinning through the deck. What do we see here? All right, Fallon. Here we go. We have a PG. Help us tank that. And I guess we don't even need to go into shotgun low. We can just uh, not even swing into it. Okay. Um. 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 Yeah. Let's let's rewrite. I can always soul blast um, the 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 trigger out. So that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh. I don't. I don't really know if I need to scale that much. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let me just leave it. Legion PG. I have another maid in my deck. Don't need it. Don't need it. Still have a lot of draw triggers in my deck. Sub so five. Uh, I guess I'll call this. I guess I, I should have. I, I guess I should have. I guess I should have. Um, Legion that heal back instead of the PG. Yeah. I don't think it's a big difference at this point, though. Swing. Again, basically three swings to the face, right? Very good. And uh, the great ones help you, help you uh, skill up, get plus six. Of course, if you play the other starter, you can scale up even more. But uh, pew, Phoenix goes for the kill, and uh, that's all we need to know. Ah, a little off, a little off. But I think um, that might be it for today. I think uh, we did pretty good. Um, actually, actually. I mean, it's a 30 minute video. These videos don't really do well, but yeah. All right. So I guess, I guess I'm just going to cut this off. Sorry for talking, 
talking to myself, I guess, speaking out loud or thinking out loud. I'm always speaking out loud, but yeah. So I guess that's basically it for this video. Um, pretty convincing 2-0. And um, it also goes to show that brawlers are um, are here to fight for their position in the meta game. I think they're really solid. I think uh, one of the weaknesses of the deck, as I mentioned, is that you don't really have a good first grade three turn play. Especially if you're going first, you are going to probably perform not as well as if you went second and immediately go into those big bang plays or those shotgun blow plays. That's something you need to be wary of as a brawler player. Is that the, the first second kind of dynamic? affects you a lot more than the other clans and other decks but uh the deck does its job it's it just goes smash and uh, wins games so hope you enjoyed the gameplay i think this is the first time we didn't see a six damage heal in quite a long time so i'm, I'm really tempted to not click that retry button to to jinx it but uh streak is broken Hope you still enjoyed the video though like the video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and want to see more and of course, another gentle reminder that uh, this is all thanks to Mighty Action Jokers. So please check them out for me and uh, say hi. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.